the climate change um, uh, awareness by the world and the decision to um, respond to it is, is so long ago. It's now 30 years since the 1992 um, United Nations Climate Change Convention was signed, which is, by the way, an excellent convention. It's a pretty strong convention. Um, but here we are. We um, are now um, looking at our 28th annual United Nations uh, Climate Conference, which is going to be at the United Arab Emirates. And um, matters could not be worse. I'm afraid my my theme has become, because I monitor all the, uh, what are called the climate change indicators, which NASA provides, uh, Copernicus in Europe provides. Uh, people have for a long time found climate change um, not an easy thing to understand, although it should be easier with all the extreme weather events, of course, we've got coming on now. But uh, the communicating the science, the, the science tends to be presented in, in a very difficult way for people to understand. Even myself, it takes a long time. So this is what I've been trying to do. I've been trying to uh, put things into um, uh, short form and uh, redo graphs and images and things like that and try and get people to understand really what's going on so with regards to the monitors we've been in the the indicators we've been in a situation now in which um my message i'm afraid is that everything is getting worse and everything is getting worse faster so um, i'm i would call our emergency situation um uh, at the very least an intensifying emergency. Um, we should be aware of that with all the extreme weather events. And um, thank you for asking me because I can explain my ideas on what must be done. Clearly what's happening uh, at the moment um, is, is being done in the wrong kind of way. I'll start with a little uh, odd bit of good news though. Um, with respect to this um, conference that's coming up of the um, uh, um, the countries, the EU and yet, they they have all now uh, for the first time agreed to acknowledge everything that the IPCC, that's the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, has been saying, particularly in respect to what has to be done. So that's somewhat of a breakthrough. But of course, um, uh, the governments and uh, corporations have all kinds of ways of uh, skirting around and not doing what they have to do. And, and so th this is uh, your three wise monkeys. Um, this, I'm afraid, is rather the response that we're getting increasingly as uh, as things get worse. Um, the other extremely odd thing, which is a form of denial, the, uh, the danger limit, and it's a disastrous danger limit um, of 1.5 degrees C of global warming, which resulted really from the 2018 uh, 1.5 degrees C IPCC report, which is a really good report. And now at least all of the uh, parties, um, uh, all of the countries have acknowledged for many years, of course, they've been fighting the IPCC and disputing the facts that the IPCC has been putting out. And two degrees C is globally catastrophic. Uh, if you bear w with, consider those numbers, um, it will help as we go through here. The best accurate in all kinds of ways analogy to the situation we're in is the Titanic. The sinking of the Titanic, uh, a perfect analogy, because um, the climate system has, uh, the main characteristic of the climate system is it has huge inertia and therefore huge momentum and you remember that uh, when the uh, iceberg was spotted um everything was done including the engines put in reverse i will explain that we don't have engines to put in reverse for the climate system although some people uh, like to think we do uh, it was too late and the uh, great ship struck the iceberg and then it took hours and hours and hours to sink i won't go into the analogy uh, anymore so NOAA, which is the United States National Ocean and Atmospheric um, Association, um, uh, I took a quote from their most recent, they do a report called The Power of Greenhouse Gases. Um, they made the statement that we are committing Earth and ourselves to climate chaos for thousands of years. It, it, that's a little bit um, similar to the uh, recent paper that James Hansen and colleagues put on as well the future uh, surface heating which we can't avoid the stuff that's in the pipe as hansen puts it um uh, was two degrees c the quote was the um commitment is quote about two degrees c so the scientists actually were aware of that back in um uh, 2012 because that was the cutoff date um the earth energy imbalance um definitely definitely says 
that there's no way that we can hold it to 2 degrees C.